We've been exploring the west of Tasmania for a bit over a month now, and it's hard to describe the effect this beautiful place has had on our well-being. There is something so magic about every place we have visited here. It has this feeling of being untouched, as if Mother Nature has been truly allowed to just thrive here. In an earlier episode, I spoke a little about some anxiety I had been moving through, and I really feel as though this time we have spent out in the wild, just us in the forests or flowing creeks and waterfalls, has been so soul-soothing for me in so many ways. It's as if my nervous system has taken a deep exhale, and a weight has been lifted from my chest. Of course, these things don't just magically disappear, but it has been a gentle reminder that so much of the inner peace we seek can be found when we allow ourselves to be immersed in the Earth's gentle embrace. What's your bacon? Make a sweet potato. <laughs> So we only have a little bit of time left here in the west of Tasmania, which, you know, honestly makes me sad because it has been the most beautiful time. There's something just so enchanting about this whole area. It really is just still so raw and natural and you just can't help but be immersed in just the beauty of the present moment you know when you're parked up by the most peaceful lakes or in the forests or climbing mountains it's just soul soothing at its finest and now we're super excited because we are finally meeting up with our friends Kendall and Glenn again we traveled with them pretty much non-stop for the last like year and a half so it's been yeah something's been missing since being apart we're gonna meet up again and hopefully spend most of the rest of the time we have here in Tasmania together exploring so I think the plan is to park up by some beautiful lakes and just catch up on life yeah we might even do some hikes together and See, see where the West takes us for our final bit of time here. It's gonna be a hard goodbye to this beautiful, wild place. We have really loved spending more time in solitude recently, just us and the earth, but it is a delicate dance to find the right balance of solitude and community. Too much solitude on the road can feel isolating in a lot of ways. So times like these with the beautiful people we've met on the road and the community we have built feel so special. Nights snuggled around the campfire, telling stories of our travels and all of our wildest dreams gave me the deepest sense of gratitude. There is so much joy to be found in witnessing another's joy and watching their being light up when they speak of their dreams 
It really is one of my favorite feelings. So Kenny and I have just taken the dogs for a hike up a little mountain. And there's this beautiful lake at the top. We just went for a skinny dip. And oh my gosh, it feels so good. So good. Oh, it's just free. So free. And it's so peaceful up here. Yeah. yeah. The boys are currently um, hiking up a much bigger mountain. <laughs> so yeah, I wonder how they're going. to join them no that. this was high enough yeah. <laughs> thank you so much it's that nice. first bit was so steep yeah. <laughs> it's nice having a little like girls day and the yes. boys are having boys day yeah yeah so peaceful so peaceful and the doggos are loving it they're loving it living their best lives <laughs> yeah. yeah oh you want some <laughs> sleepy lady doing a hike we have wanted to do this whole time since arriving in Tassie. Um, we're in Mount Field National Park. Reese's brother is looking after the dogs. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do the Tarn Shelf hike. So we're all gonna see a bunch of tarns, which I am named after. And it's gonna be a beautiful day. 